Welcome to Bright Horizons with Deb and, and Jim. Jim. We're back. Happy Feel Good Friday. How do you like that one? Happy Feel Good Friday. Wow, We're that's back. That's a good one. Yes. We missed you so much. I can't believe it. It feels longer, doesn't it? No. Yeah. We, we had some questions why we weren't on last week. So well, thank you, all you, the loyal viewers. Yes, thank you. We're concerned so much. about us. We appreciate that. <laughs> we hope you're all doing well. Spring is here and summer's near. That is our topic today. I don't know spring if you can see Deb's here. got nice yellow color. I have color a, a very and, springy top on. So. And my tie has flowers, Isn't yellows, great? and greens. So and east, pinks. I love that. Yeah, it's like Easter. It is yeah. absolutely like Easter. Are you kidding? <laughs> oh, the Easter fact, colors. I think that's the first time I've seen this. Which this is one. next week is Easter. That's so right. Can you right. believe that? Wow. All right. And then we have some birthdays. We have quite a few birthdays. A couple of April babies. And again, as you know, if we've gotten anybody, happy birthday. You know we love you. But we're going to take a shout out to my brother, David. Hi, David. Happy birthday happy coming birthday, up next week. Happy birthday, David. April 14th is his birthday. My brother, love you, Mark. Uh, Christine, my sister-in-law, same day as my brother, David. Really? April 14th, yes. Wow. Greg's sister, happy birthday. We love you, Christine. And happy Anthony birthday. Avalon. Anthony. Happy birthday last week. Happy birthday, Anthony. Hope it was wonderful. Mwah. And my girlfriend in Paramus, New Jersey, Nancy Weedman Sullivan, love you, honey. April fifth was your birthday. Hope you had a happy great birthday. day. Guess happy birthday! Happy, happy birthday! Happy to happy birthday! To you. Happy happy birthday to you. Making up our own happy song. Happy oh yeah, birthday. why not? <laughs> to you and may all your dreams come I'm true. true. Yay! Happy birthday, everybody. Of course, you know I can't go without the temporary. It's like. Didn't the Beatles have a song? They say it's your oh, birthday. They say it's your birthday. Happy da, birthday da, 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 to you. It's my birthday too, yeah. Da, 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 da. They say it's your birthday. Da, 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 da. Gonna have a good we time. We love birthdays. You see how I want to continue? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Deb. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, spring is a season during which the natural world we buys itself. Think about that. The flowers bloom. You get to do your spring cleaning. Yes. Which, of course, is a great feeling. You know, and even in South Florida, I, I want you all to know, it's going down to the 50s tonight. Am I right? 50s, did they well, say? I think 60s. But oh, okay. Well, now the cool front's coming through. So to us, it's we a big deal. It. Yes. So I said to Greg this morning, I said, oh, we get to open the windows. Yeah. <laughs> this is so exciting. But, you know, spring cleaning to me is a big thing. I love that. Because it's like, oh, okay, do the laundry. Get everything done. And you love to do ready. the laundry. It sounds great. Well, you know, the, pot, the linen scent. Anyway, I'm weird that way. I like good scents. But, uh, but I just can't get over it. bring mine over to your house. You can? <laughs> I, it, it's one of the things, I know it sounds crazy. I love ironing as well. Wow. I do. I truly do. You're the perfect wife. I Greg's am. very lucky. Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> he does the cooking. He does the cooking, you and share, I do the ironing. the household does responsibilities. The but no, honestly, That's it's one of the marriage. tours. <laughs> yeah, it is. And I just look forward to doing certain things. And uh, anyway, and I'm funny about the scents. I have to have April Downey fresh, you know. Again, spring is in yes, the air. Yes, April. April Downey. That's right. I, I, that's all I use. So there you go. <laughs> I kid you not. Bring your laundry over. Oh, I'm only kidding. Well, when I was thinking about spring, I was thinking about that saying, <laughs> Alfred Lloyd Tennyson, in springtime, a young man's fancy turns to love. Oh, <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> oh, where spring flowers go. How's it go? Where May flowers? Why am I missing that up? April showers bring May Thank flowers. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm all tired today. But anyway. <laughs> Hibernating animals awake. Everything is ready to go. People are getting ready to go. All families on vacation. We have May around the corner, June, July. These are the vacation months. Yes. And they're fun to plan around. Um, and we don't see the extremes here in South Florida. But no, I remember no. living up north. Gray days in February and March. And then right, the, the, right. the daffodils pop and the crocuses yep. are the yep. first that you see. It's just the the, uh, the anticipation and the hope yes. of renewal. It's yes. just a wonderful time of year. I was driving this morning and I heard this song, Winter, Spring, Summer, Burn and fall. fall. All you've got to, to do, do is call. call. And I'll, I'll be there, there yes, so we will. will. Yeah, yeah. You've, you've got, got a friend. friend. Winter, Spring, Summer, and Fall. All the seasons are very important. But spring is here and summer is near. And we'll be doing this come... Winter and fall. Yeah. <laughs> so well, spring, get ready, everybody. Spring has a sense of renewal, which yes. is beautiful. You yes, know, that, yes. That's, that, that's Most certainly does. So hopeful and positivity, which we feel all yes. the time. But, yeah. Do you remember uh, growing up, um, getting ready for summer vacation, how um, we were talking about Connie Francis the other day. As you all know, uh, Jim is very friendly with Connie for many years. 
And as Jim said the other day, Connie has put um, Fort Lauderdale on the map. Oh, yes. She most certainly Where has. the boys are. And I said to Jim, I love that song. And again, because I do listen to Legends Radio 100.3, and Jim, of course, turned me on to that. And now I can't get enough of it. I love the station. Yes. So, you know, I happen to hear where the boys are. So I called Jim. I said, guess what I'm listening to? So I said, when we do our show, I said, I've got to sing a little bit of it. Yes. And, of course, it does no justice to Connie's gorgeous, beautiful voice. But I'm going to give it a shot. Just okay. a couple of lines anyway. Do you need okay? to take a sip of water first? Are you okay? You know, <clears throat> let me see. I think it's okay. <laughs> okay, Connie. Here we I go. I hope I don't put your song to shame, but... Think about some vacation on the beach. Remember, yes. like, all the movies at the time. Where the boys are, someone waits for me. Oh. A smiling face, a warm embrace, two arms to hold me tenderly. Beautiful Where words. the boys are, my true love will be. He's walking down some street in town, and I know he's looking there for oh, me. You. <laughs> Till he holds me. I love the words. I'll walk impatiently where the boys are, where the boys are, where the boys are. Someone waits for me. Brava. Connie, I love that song. Did, uh, Neil Sedaka. Yes. I, I wish I could have played the piano, but I don't... <laughs> My I was, uh, it's cracking a lot, but, you know, I just love it. So I'll, And we have other songs, but I'll let you take it over, because I'll sing throughout the whole song. Well, yeah, actually, you know, you oh, mentioned Neil Sedaka. The Wick Theater, which we have here in Boca Raton, is, is, is having a show... Breaking Up is Hard to Do, starting in April, I think it's 21st. I saw that. Yes, yes and, they're, and, they, saw that. and they're playing some of his songs, which includes Stupid Cupid, which Stupid Cupid. was Connie that Francis' so song, adorable. too. Yes. Stupid Cupid, you're a real mean guy. <laughs> da, 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 da. Stupid Cupid, stop bitching on me. <laughs> da, 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 da. Anyway, She's it'll just be a good, one of a kind. Good it's so show. is Elsa Yeah, it'll be a good show to see, to see about yeah. all of his sweet hit Jesus, tunes. Sweet little you. When I was Sweet 16, my mom had his music playing Sweet yes. 16. And uh, I heard a lot of Neil Sedaka growing up. He's, he's wonderful, yes, wonderful he entertainer. Is. Yes, There's well, a lot of great music. And actually, because of Connie in that movie, yeah. all of those students kept coming down to Fort Lauderdale and it started that As whole Jim tradition. Said, she put Fort yes. Lauderdale on the map. In fact, one of the streets is called, like, or a square is, yeah. is dedicated to Connie Francis there. It's, it's, it's just wonderful. Um, what was I going to say about that? Oh, the movie, too, was, was a great... Yes, you can yes. still get, get, watch it on one of these services. It's fun, you know, it's just about the uh, young love, which is beautiful to see, but a lot of comedy, which I love. I know, yes. I love the classics, the old time, you know, the Anthony, what was it, um, Annette Fuccinella? And, yeah, Fenicella. Uh, yes, Fenicella, rather, yes. I mispronounced it, but. Frankie Avalon. Frankie Avalon, all those movies, are, they all fit in together, yes. you know, and they most certainly do, so they're fun, and yes. I, for some reason, I can never get enough of them. Frankie Avalon and Fabian were, were in West Palm Beach last Friday night. Yeah. I didn't get to see yeah. it, but. I heard bring about back that wonderful too. memories. It's such a wonderful thing. We're so grateful now that we're able to come together at these events now. Yes. To where it was such a struggle in the past, so we're very blessed and grateful for that because now we're able to enjoy life and um, you know onward and upward and just of course be safe. But it's nice to have our entertainment around what do, what us do you to remember? bring love. What do you remember around? as a child about spring? Uh, actually, Easter was my favorite time. I yes. remember my mom making the most beautiful Easter baskets for all of us. Me, my brother David, my sister Lisa, my sister Holly. And there was bunny rabbits, candies galore, and all that grass and that cellophane yes. wrapping, different colors, sure. pink, green, yellow, and getting dressed up. You asked me, and this right away came to my heart, getting dressed up in the most prettiest little pink or yellow or green outfit. I would have my little saddle shoes on, my hat. It, it, <laughs> the pictures when you Easter look Easter bonnets, at, that's right. We Easter, used to have bonnets, Easter bonnets, right. But going to church and then, you know, the not so much the Easter egg hunts back then, but we just had our blast with yes. our, we couldn't get enough chocolates and candies and the Easter bunnies were just amazing. So but your mother had an artistic talent. My mother was absolutely artistic. She got involved with each, I've said it time and time again, I'll say it a hundred times over. She was so interested in everything that we did, Jim. She took care of, my brother was a Cub Scout growing up. I was a Girl Scout, a brownie. Lisa, Holly, I think Holly was a brownie, but anyway. 
Time goes by very fast, but she always took initiative to get involved, be a Cub Scout leader, a den mother. Wow. Um, you know, have David's troop come over and, uh, you know, sit at a table making things. Love to party, decorate. She was like a party planner every birthday. So I can go on and on. She was very, very yes. creative. Well, I, I, I'm trying to think so about Easter spring is when as you a ask child. Me, yeah. my favorite time. Yeah. Remembrance. I think uh, what was wonderful, too, is that you're hibernating all winter, and then all of a sudden you can get outside. and That's right. Uh, uh, the temperature starts to rise, and you're out playing with your friends. And then and all so. of a sudden it's time to get out of school. School's out for <laughs> summer. That, remember that song? Who sang that? Alice, Alice Cooper, I think? How much? Maybe. Yeah. School? Oh, my Sad. goodness gracious. Oh, it's making me feel older, but anyway, yeah, school's out. And uh, planning your vacation. That's about the time, June, after school had ended, that... My parents would get everything ready. My mom would start the laundry and pack it up to go to Seaside Heights, New Jersey, South Jersey Shore. Yeah. And we'd stay at the same bungalow seven blocks away from the boardwalk. And same uh, bungalow every same year? Same bungalow every wow, year, yeah. And nice. it became, it was lovely. It was only seven, I remember it instinct. Oh, it was such a great place. And uh, How long did you stay there? About two and a half months. Wow, that was terrific you'd be able yes, to do that. Yes, two and a half months every year. And the people that my parents had rented it from became family. Yes, you know, of course, you developed that we close just, relationship. Very, very, very fortunate. Yeah, we always went to Ocean City, which is further yes, south from yes. Seaside. And it was so much fun going on the beach, flying kites and all that. So it was fun. You know, Greg and I were talking what it was like to grow up back then. And um, we knew how to entertain ourselves. Let's yes. put it that way. I was able to well, jump more, rope. Well, more simple, simple things that we entertained Absolutely. ourselves Absolutely. I was able to jump rope. And my girlfriends and I, you know who you are out there, um, we're able to make up songs and just have a blast with hopsca- hopscotch, hopscotch and, oh, forget it, Barbie dolls. Wasn't there a game, Potsy, too, where you, you yes. threw something on, on uh, uh, I forget, you had a, like a, a numbered, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. I, I didn't get into that as much. We played punch ball in the schoolyard. Right. We played, um, oh my gosh, Barbie dolls was a big thing, dolls with me. And it was just... You know, and today it's all like cell phones and entertainment. It's, it's so different. That's all I yeah, can that's say. the uh, challenge nowadays is yeah, the children are not interacting with each other because they're on their own devices. Right. So it's right. better. We, we were, were all with our friends. We had no choice. We had that but social, interact. social right. interaction, which is right. so important in life. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, you know, the parents were there to make sure that that happened. I know my mom was always, and my dad too, but. Yeah. Fun times. I remember you were saying that you created a little group, you and your sisters. Yes. Same thing with me and David. And we had uh, our friends in New York City that um, we had grass skirts on and we had the tambourine and the bongos. It's, and it's interesting we how our little group. music is so important in our lives, even yes. at a young age. Yes. You know, we, I remember we had the transistor radio. Remember Small those? <laughs> and they were so cool. AM, FM. We thought that we were hot stuff. We yes. think we're hot stuff with the, the iPhones today. Right. But back then, we were really hot stuff. Yes. <laughs> and the walkie-talkies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? Greg and I were watching uh, the Andy Griffith show. I love that show. I love the oldies. Brings back a lot of it memories, really yes. And um, uh, Opie, he's so cute. Ron Howard. He's such a little, he was adorable yes. playing that show. He was kicking, he was kind of bored, and Andy had said, now don't go anywhere, and he had no friends to play. It was one show out of many that I was watching the other night, and he's kicking the can. I said to Greg, I said, you know what? There was, I used to do that. My girlfriend said, we'd kick cans in the, the schoolyard, <laughs> and we'd step on them and hear them like make noises and right. we'd pretend like we were like tap dancing. The darndest thing to entertain yourself. The imagination is wonderful yourself. for children, yes. Exactly. To use their imagination. Yes. It's, it's beautiful, yes. Well, family's also so so important too. Yes. And at Ocean City, I had my 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 wonderful cousin Nancy who watches us. Hi, Nancy. We'd see, we, we'd see her uh, during the summer, and, and her brother James, my cousin James, and then hi, James. Pa- the parents, Aunt Nancy and Uncle Jay. It was just wonderful staying there the whole summer, like you did. It was, and it, was it went blessing. very fast though, but it yes. was so enjoyable. I know my sister. Every would, night on the boardwalk too, which is great. Cotton candy every time. <laughs> A lot of sugar going on, but yeah. My sister literally, literally would cry on the way home when we had to leave Ocean City. Well, it's City, depressing you know? because yes. we had such a good time. I don't blame her. I did the same thing, Angela. So don't worry about it. <laughs> Believe me, I hear you. <laughs> we all did. Oh, what a bummer. Back to school. You know, right. But yeah. Although we enjoyed school, but still and all, it was just, you know. And then did you have friends who were, you made friends with children there in that community in Seaside Oh, Heights? sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Every year we went to the same bungalow and same people, and it was just a blast. Well, the beautiful part in our life is my sister was friendly with some teenage girls, and one of them was Jeannie McGowan, uh, McGowan 
And uh, with the friendships that developed, my niece Christina married into the McGowan family. So oh, after growing up with amazing. these people as See, our close friends, yeah. then the children fell in love and married. So my beautiful niece it was Christina certainly meant to be. and Keith, certainly meant to be. many beautiful years of marriage and two children. So it all started at Ocean City, New Jersey with the friendship Ocean between City. Okay. Angela and uh, Jeannie McGowan and, and the whole crew there. It was fun. We used to also have a priest there who started a youth organization. Mm -hmm. So that's how we met a lot of people, too, through the youth the, at the church. Of course, yes. yeah, absolutely would. His name nice. was Father Wagenhofer, German. Wagenhofer, <laughs> wow, that's a mouthful. <laughs> Father Wagenhofer. Yes. Okay, real, real I, nice I said guy. it right, right? I said it right. Wagenhofer, yes. okay. Yes. Excuse me while I take a drink. He actually performed the wedding for my sister and brother-in-law, uh, Angel and John. I'll be darned, that yeah. is fabulous, yes. great. Yeah. You know, um, Deb shared with me that when she got married, Father Ryan was the priest who yeah. officiated at her ceremony. You remember Do you know, that? I, I tried to find him for you. I was hoping Did I would. Did you really? But I, I couldn't do it. You might want to call the church. And I'm going to that you said that. We, I, I, went to, I went to the diocese website Aww. thinking maybe they would have some information about him. But I couldn't find it, so oh, I tried. Oh, that's my gym. That's my gym, gym. <laughs> I thought Always I would surprise oh. trying to locate Father Ryan for you. That's how Jim is. <laughs> Most awful person you'll ever want to meet in life, I'll tell you. Always considerate and kind. Thank you. I'm, I can't believe you did that. It was wonderful. <laughs> he was a wonderful priest. I remember the, uh, like I said, at our wedding at the end, he made it a point to say, I will let everybody know to please do not throw rice. Yes. Yes. <laughs> And I looked at Greg, he looked at me, I turned around, I looked at everybody else. I'm like, if you have rice, knock it off, don't do it. Right. <laughs> but yeah, he was a great priest, very good. And uh, it was a very, very nice church wedding. But... And you know, there's a song, Spring Fever. Really is. And, spring Fever. And, and the term Spring Fever, is, that's an interesting terminology, isn't it? It is. I was looking into the songs, Connie Francis, of course, because of the summer and all that. And But the song by the Beatles, Here Comes the Sun. Oh, yeah, that's That a is nice a song. great song. And then... I love by Jimmy, what is it, uh, Jimmy Cliff. Um, I can see clearly oh, yes. now. Do you know the lyrics to that? Yes. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to sing one of these. Which one do you want to pick? Here Comes the Sun? Maybe or? I can see clearly now. Okay. Well, with that, my readers, I don't know about me, but... <laughs> you don't have it all memorized? <laughs> oh, my. Okay, one, a two, a one, two, three, four. I, I can, can see clearly now, now the, the rain, rain is gone. gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. Gone are the dark clouds that had me blind. It's going to be bright, 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 bright summer day. day. Oh, I messed that up. I think I can make it now. The pain is gone. All of the bad feelings have disappeared. Here is that rainbow I've been praying for. It's going to be, be a bright, 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 bright sunshiny day. All right. You know the lyrics. Isn't that a great song? That is a bright, is. sunshiny day for sure. Feeling. A and you know, good it was feeling interesting, Friday. Since I had this in mind, the topic, I was listening to Legends Radio, and I heard this song I never heard before. And it, the, the, this, the words. It's time for love. Oh, I love this. Do you? You know it? I love oh, this. Oh, okay. Because it's, I hadn't heard oh, the song it's before. Oh, so sent. Oh, it just brings chills to me. I just love it. And this. it was all about our topic because it says a time a for summer There's skies. Oh my God! For hummingbirds so and butterflies. Yeah. For tender words that harmonize with love. A time for climbing hills, for leaning out of window sills, admiring daffodils above. A time for holding hands okay. together. A time for rainbow-colored weather. A time of make believe that we've been dreaming of. But it just made me think of spring because then it mentions. Um, As time radio. goes drifting by, the willow bends and so do I. But all my friends, whatever sky's above, I know a time for spring, a time for fall, but best of all, a time for love. For love. And, and Tony Bennett was singing this song. Oh, I love Tony Bennett. God bless him. So I just I had so to, bad for him with the ultimate, yes. but he's just an but awesome. God bless him. He's lived God a wonderful him. life. God bless him. God bless him. 95 years him. old. And he won the Grammy with Lady I'm Gaga. I'm so Lady Gaga. I, yes. I had tears in my eyes when I saw that. I just thought it was so well-deserved. So congratulations to him. So I just yeah. thought that with the, the words were just perfect. That was nice. I love that, Jim. Yes. A time for love. That is beautiful. Yes. And then we have our dear friend, Marie. You know, we cannot leave our show <laughs> without Marie Pinch-Smith. And she, of course, Jim picks out the ideal, and you know, ideal. When you think of time. spring, you think of a garden, right? Because a lot of people oh, yeah. plant their gardens. So this one's called Perfect Garden. There you go. There's nothing like a garden to chase the blues away 
fruit tree blossoms and favorite flowers bring joy and bliss to my day. The sweet, sweet smell of roses, sweet peas on the vine, gentle flapping of butterfly wings make a weary heart sing. A bench in the shade on an oak tree. That's a beautiful scene. A, a, bench. Bench, yeah, yeah. a pitcher of tea alongside. Music supplied by the honeybees as they gather the sweet nectar nearby. A visit from a friendly neighbor makes the day complete. A feast for our bodies, eyes, and soul is my garden, fulfilling and oh so sweet. Oh, Thank you, beautiful. Marie. Thank you, Marie. Mwah. Did you ever much have a garden? Love you. Did you ever plant in a garden? I no, not not that's <coughs> one thing. Not so much. No. Yeah. We didn't really do that. That's the one thing that I can say my mom never got into. But uh, I would have liked to. Well, you I lived in an apartment, it, right? So, growing up in New York yeah. City, and then we moved to a single family home. But even so, she yeah. never got into the gardening. It was produce. Go to the supermarket. But that's the sign <laughs> so, of spring. Is it is it's, absolutely it's, to be able yeah. to plant and then see the the. Uh, the results. the results, yeah, yes, the results. Yes. Just to think that, wow, you're going to have that gorgeous tomato that came from your garden or that beautiful um, potato, whatever it may be that you want to plant. I mean, that really is nice to garden and have all fresh produce, especially with the cost of things, too, you know. Now, it's funny you mentioned Legends Radio 100.3. Well, they have some wonderful advertisers. You know, I've been advertising on the radio. I love your advertisement. Everybody Thank you. comments. I hear it all the time, and Thank I always you. smile. My gym. And one of the advertisers is Nobile Shoes. Noble Shoes, okay? And his slogan, is, his name is Derek, and his slogan is, Stay Mobile and Noble. You know, so, I like that. Yes. <laughs> and he's got the most creative commercials. So I've invited him to be on our show, and he said he will be. Oh, right. That is fabulous. His name is Derek Schwartz. Derek Schwartz. I'm so looking forward to So when him. I had the opportunity to buy shoes, I went to Noble Shoes and I met Oh, how uh, Derek. great is that? Because one of his commercials is so funny because he says, um, he's talking about uh, that a woman came into the store one day and they solved her foot problem because they do that. They specialize in issues with the foot. Wow. And then she went out and bought a lottery ticket, and she became a millionaire. But it was a joke. It, I was going to say, wow, <laughs> what a day, what a day, huh? But how creative that he thought to put that, you know, as part how, of the commercial. Very creative, absolutely. And so. I'll tell you, after I have the most comfortable pair of shoes now after visiting Noble Shoes. And the funny connection is my cousin Nancy and Bernie, who watched the sh uh, my cousin Fran and Bernie, who watched uh -huh. the show, they initially... Uh, moved down here before we did, and they had a yogurt shop. I mentioned this before in North yeah, Palm Beach. Yeah. In that shopping center was Noble Shoes at that time. I Subsequently, the owner has sold to Derek, Derek, the current owner of Noble Shoes, and they moved now to Military Trail and North Lake Boulevard. But it was just so funny the connection that I have to Noble Shoes because I knew the company for years and the meant previous to be. owner. Meant to be for sure. So if you need shoes, you'll be stay Noble mobile shoes. at Noble. That's adorable. <laughs> I love that. Great, great, great. And he will be. He's got a very interesting. He's a very. He's a young man, but he's lived in multiple places around the world. Uh, he just loves people and he helps people. And Wonderful. even in this business, he's Wonderful. helping people with their foot issues. You know. So. Well, I'll tell you what. We all need the help. I admire so thank people you. who, yes, that want who to dedicate their lives to others. Way to help. Absolutely. So thank you, Derek. And we thank look you, forward Derek. Looking to you being so forward to meeting with you. Absolutely. Oh, I'm so excited about that. That's great. Wow. Well, you know, ending our show, you know how, you know, the best feeling of happiness for us is we're happy because we've made somebody happy. And uh, we love being with you. You know that. But um, we hope today brings you all the blessings that you deserve for yes. sure. Um, always remember to keep your horizons bright, bright but you know besides that you know how we end the show we have our signature what a difference song a day makes. which is what a difference a day makes it most certainly does and it goes a little something like this what a difference, difference a, day a day makes 24 little hours brought the sun and the flowers where there used to be rain what a difference a day makes and the difference is you and you, and you. You better believe you make a difference. You make a difference in our lives, and we're hoping that you'll make a difference in somebody else's life. Until we see you again keep, next week. Keep again, your keep your horizons bright. bright. Keep it together. We love you. We'll see you soon. Yes, we can't wait to see you.